Hello everyone, let's start with the classical exercise that we've been doing so many times. So we did it for the C, G, D, A, E, B notes and today we want to add one more natural note and that note will be F. Okay, so if we follow the... Uh, we have one F here, one F here and one F here. We're only using the first five frets of the fretboard. So three Fs, okay? Uh, one, two, ready, go. And the last one. Again. That's the F. So now we want to follow the circle of fifth. We will start with B, right? And after B, we we will play the E notes, okay? Or, and then A, and then D, D to G, G to C, C to F. Okay, that's the circle of fifth. Again, start with, with the B notes. As usual, it doesn't really matter in which order you play your Bs, okay? Uh, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Done. Good. Good. This is a good exercise following the circle of fifth. So every chord, like we started with B, uh, B. Yes, we started with B. So B7 wants to resolve to E, right? And uh, so I wanna, I wanna practice this concept because it's very important to have those couple of notes clear in your mind. So if I go A7, you go D. D7, G. G7, C. C7, F. Very quickly and easily. So we need to practice this. And I would like to use this simple chord progression. Uh, it starts with the five chord. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it in the key of G, okay? In the key of C, sorry. So it starts with the five chord, G. We play the 
dominant, seventh, we go to one, we go to four, and we go to five, like this. Four, five, dominant, one. So in this way we will be practicing the one, four, five for each key and we will be practicing the, the dominant five. Okay, so let's do it together. We don't need a metronome here, so just follow me. This is a waltz. One, two, three, two, two, three. Again. Seven resolve to C. Okay, let's do it in another key. Instead of G7, let's play A7. Okay, now we are in the key of D. A7 is 5, D is 1, G is 4. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. Seven, one, four, five. One more time. All right. A, let's go to B seven. B7 wants to go to E, and that will be the one chord. The four chord in the key of E is A. Alright, ready? One, two, three. B7, let's go to what? We go to C7. Now C7 wants to go to F. And in the key of F, F is 1, B flat is 4, and C is 5. Dominant 7. Okay, ready? 1, 2, 3. C7, let's go to D7. D7 is the 5 of G. G is 1, C is 4. Alright, mm, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 4, and 5. Let's go to D7, E7. E7 is the 5 of A. A is 1, D is 4, E is 5. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. Let's go to... Oh, we're done. I guess we're done, right? G7 and goes to C. Uh, yeah, I think we are. We should be 
uh, maybe I'm missing some but anyway doesn't matter okay that's enough this is a long exercise after all and then mm, let's keep on working on chords today and I want to work on the minor rel sorry the relative minor chord so this is the rule every major chord has a relative minor chord so it's like a major and minor and how do you find it you just need to go three steps half steps down three frets down so if you if you're in C the relative minor will be one two three A minor see so A minor is the relative minor of C that means that those two chords are really connected they share two notes out of three and they are interchangeable actually in many songs you can change the relative minor with the major chord and vice versa uh, so it's good to to know those again we're talking about chords going very well together we did the dominant that goes to the one and now we do the major that goes to the minor relative minor and the relative minor is the sixth okay a minor in the key of c is the a is the sixth note in the key in the c major scale right so instead of going from one up to six we go from eight that is just like one down to six because that root is shorter is just three frets okay okay so let's do this together okay something like that okay simple one two three four Like think about what's the title? Um, Leonard Cohen, right? Uh, Hallelujah. Eh? That, that's the way it start. Actually, let's play that. It's like play and learn those couple of notes couple of chords for all of the major chords so C let's go up to D relative minor of D is B minor right D and down to B you see three frets and we play Ready? One, two, three, two, two, three. learn those passing those bass runs right and now let's go to E now <coughs> the relative minor of E major is C sharp minor in this case the bass line could be something like this look from B to C sharp B C C sharp all right let's go one two three two two three maybe backward is not great E, 
let's go to F. Relative minor of F. F, right? D minor. F and D minor. That's another couple of chords to, to know. Let's go. One, two, three, two, two, three. minor F and D minor E and C sharp okay D and B minor C and A minor one more G well this is a good one G and E minor so here we go and the bass will be G F sharp E right so one two three two 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 done eh? A goes down to F sharp right and the bass we need that G sharp in between A G sharp F sharp minor here we go one two three two two three We're done for today. I mean, uh, that's that's enough chords, right? So, quick recap: C, and you go A minor. If I say D, you go B minor. E, C sharp minor. F, D minor. G, E minor. A, F sharp minor. Okay, this is one. This is six. It's always that. One, six, one, six, one, six. All right. Um, I think that today we don't, uh, I'm sorry that we spent so much time playing chords. So, well, next time we will do more picking, so soloing, okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, yeah, in the meantime, keep practicing those major pentatonic scale with the flat third. Right? And the D, that was the new one. So keep re reviewing those pentatonics with the major third, the flat third, sorry. And, uh, and next time we will start from there, probably. Okay? So, thank you everyone.